Hello children. Today let us learn about pronouns. What are pronouns? Yes, the substituting words for noun are called pronouns. A pronoun is a part of speech. Now let's get into the definition of pronoun. Any word which can substitute a noun is called a pronoun. It is used to avoid repetition. For example, John is a dancer. He dances marvelously. Actually, we should say John is a dancer. John dances marvelously. But in order to avoid the repetition of John again, we are replacing John with he. Look at the second example. Jessie is a lawyer. She argues efficiently. Here we see that Jessie is replaced with she. Now let's go and have a glance at personal pronouns. What are personal pronouns? Yes, a personal pronoun substitutes a person's name or the name of a thing. It is used as a subject as well as as an object. When it is used as a subject, it is used as I, we, you, he, she, it, they. And when it is used as an object, it is used as me, us, you, him, her, it, them. Now come, let's have a look at the example here. We cleaned the garden. The other version of the same sentence is, the garden was cleaned by us. If we look at the first sentence, the pronoun we is used in the place of subject. The same we, when it comes to the place of object, it changes to us. This is the transformation we see when we change from active voice to passive voice or passive voice to active voice. Come, let's have a look at the possessive pronouns. What are possessive pronouns? Possessive pronouns stand for the ownership of a noun. That is, something belongs to someone. These possessive pronouns are also used as a subject and as an object. When a possessive pronoun is used as a subject, it is used as my, our, your, his, her, its, their. The same when it is used as an object, it is used as mine, ours, yours, his, hers, its, theirs. Now look children, you are always instructed not to put an apostrophe for yours in yours faithfully because yours is a possessive pronoun. Come, let's have a look at the example. My home is the best. Here, my is used in the place of subject. The same sentence, when my goes to the object place, that is to the end of the sentence, this my changes to mine. Now look at the transformation. My home is the best. The best home is mine. The my, when it has gone to the object place, has changed into mine. Come, let's go into the other form of pronoun that is the emphatic pronoun and reflexive pronoun. Both emphatic pronouns and reflexive pronouns end with self or selves. Self is for singular, selves is for plural. The examples are myself, yourself, ourselves, yourselves, himself, herself, itself, themselves. Here, yourself, yourselves, because the second person singular is also you and plural is also you. And remember children, ourself is wrong. We should say ourselves. 
themselves is wrong. We should use themselves because they are plural. Come, let's have a glance at the examples. Emphatic pronoun. I myself opened the door. Reflexive pronoun. I hurt myself. Look children, when is this emphatic pronoun used? The emphatic pronoun is used to emphasize or to stress or to insist on something. That is, here in this example, I myself opened the door means it is I who opened the door. No one else opened the door. In the reflexive pronoun, the myself takes the object place. That is, I hurt myself means I hurt me. Now come to the next example. He himself painted the wall. Here the emphatic pronoun himself says that he did it for himself. No one else did it for him. That is, he himself painted the wall. He neither hired anyone to paint the wall nor did he take anyone's help in painting the wall. He himself did it. The second example, the joker painted himself. That is, the joker applied paint all over himself. So, himself takes the place of object. Hope you understood the difference between emphatic and reflexive pronoun. Now, let's go into interrogative pronoun. Interrogation means question. Questioning words such as who, what, whom and which are interrogative pronouns. For example, who are you? What are you doing? These are examples of interrogative pronouns. Now, let's have a look at demonstrative pronouns. Demonstrative pronouns speak of a specific thing mentioned already. That is, now you can have a look at the picture. Here we have so many fruits. Now, they say fruits are good for health, fruits are rich in nutrients, fruits give us energy, fruits are good for our health and they are rich in vitamins. Now look at this, instead of repetition of the fruits again and again, we replace it with these. These are rich in vitamins. So, the demonstrative pronoun speak of a specific thing which is mentioned already, that is the fruits. Now, the examples of demonstrative pronouns are this, that, these, those, such. Next comes the relative pronouns. The relative pronouns are used to connect two sentences. For example, Jack is a student. He plays well. When we join these two sentences, it changes to Jack is a student who plays well. Here, who is a relative pronoun which joins the two sentences. Hope you all understood what the pronouns are and their functions in our day-to-day -day life. Thank you children. Thank you for watching. And for further updates, you can subscribe our channel. Thank you and have a wonderful day.